airbrush. That's what we're gonna do today. Uh, show you how to do that. These are the paints I'm going to use. Oxford white for my highlights. Universal black for my black shading. Clear for my clear. One other thing I'm gonna need to do is get the paint out of here and into here. I got these funnels uh, from Texas. Texas makes good funnels. Get some tape. Now let's determine what we wanna do. It's got this here. I like that. Let's make that a piece of metal. So let's mark this off. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let the helmet tell me where I'm masking. Now this plate will probably come around like this. So if you hadn't noticed, I already painted this uh, helmet here. I used Duplicolor Perfect Match Filler Primer and Duplicolor, once again, uh, Silver Metallic. Would you look at that? I cut it. Ooh, long piece. <laughs> all right, now that we got this thing all lined up, time to spray some black on there. Okay, so apparently I just messed up and did it in picture mode. So let me show you what I did. I took some uh, styrene here, a tube, and some stuff, cut a little circle, glued it to the end using plastic bonding. What that does is let me get my shading. Then I took that, stuck it over some cardboard, psh, so I could cut out my circle, which will let me do my highlights. I took it and one by one, shaded over it until I laid out all those rivets. Oh crap, I forgot. I also sprayed all the black lines with the masking and pulled that off. For this next step, I'm gonna do all my shading on my rivets. So I wanna shade the low side. So you gotta think where the sun's gonna be coming from, the top, so all of them I want to do on the low side. So this is how I decant my paint. That little bit gave me about a half a can. Tut 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 t
I think that does it for the black. Let's see, what else might I want to do? So I can get in here and clean these lines up a little bit. Shit. Oh well, let's move on. <laughs> It'll probably look good in the end anyway. Alright, now I'll show you how to make a funnel. So white we're just using for highlights so we're gonna do the shiny side of the rivet the top right so let's do that Tut 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 t
That's pretty good actually. But I want to come back in with some more black now. That was pretty good. <clears throat> now I'm just going to put some light inconsistencies over the whole thing after I wipe down a lot of this overspray real quick. So it gets overspray all over the whole thing. You can see these weird lines here. So I'm just gonna lightly wipe it. That way I don't do remove a lot of my shading, but I'll remove a lot of that random overspray. So now I can afterward intentionally put some where I want to put some. <laughs> Let's put some more imperfections. So now metal, you look at it, it never looks perfectly clean, right? It's got like and marks all over scratches and shit so let's put some all right put some random scratches <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this really. I don't know, what do you think? I think it looks pretty decent. It's warm enough outside, I, today I can do this without making it too cold in here. Now, whenever you're spraying, you want to watch the texture. Not so much the color, especially because now we're dealing with clear. So you want to watch that texture as you're spraying it. You want a smooth, even gloss. You want it to look wet. Alright, and there you have it. We have got a mask, welding helmet, painted to look like sheet metal. Um, now, I'm like I said, I had no art training or anything, I'm just a guy, so I'm sure there's lots of things I should have done different, but also being just a guy, gotta say, looks pretty darn good. Now you can see what it looks like in daylight. I'm happy with that.